I'm getting out of Parzan about 8.15 this morning. Uh, quite a bit later than I normally get moving, but <coughs> when, I, when I woke up at 6 this morning, there was some serious thunder outside my window and um, just incredibly hard rain. And I was in bed, warm, sore, and I was like, oh, there's no fucking way I'm getting out of bed. So I set my alarm for another hour, uh, kept sleeping in. But then what I had to do was United sent me an email a few days ago that said, hey, call us as soon as you can. Turns out Lufthansa bumped me off my flight from Barcelona to Frankfurt, which is where I was gonna take my connection back to Seattle. And so my choice was really to just take a train to Frankfurt somehow, or call United and see if I could get that rearranged. So they gave me a flight from Barcelona to Newark, back to Seattle. So, you know, it's always fun traveling in foreign countries. Uh, especially when you don't have any cell service for days and uh, surprises just happen while you're on the trail. It's great. Well, I was a little worried about today, but the weather's looking okay right now. I think today will turn out to be a quicker easier day than than I anticipated. Well, the hail has been coming down pretty hard. I'm like in a little makeshift shelter right now. I changed into my rain gear and my warm clothing. I'm gonna attempt the pass. Uh, if the lightning starts to really act up or the hail and the wind just get too bad, I guess I'll just have to retreat, come back here, set up my tent, and spend the night in the thunder shower. So that sucks. Well, I just attempted to uh, cross that pass, but um, everything's covered with hail and uh, very wet. The other side is even steeper than this side. And uh, it was 6.30 when I looked at my, when I looked at my watch and the altitude was 8250 so I was still a good 700 feet from the pass earlier I was hailing pretty hard I mean that could start at any time so I'm just gonna go down here set up my tent and uh, spend the night here and um, there's another guy camped up here too so at least uh, I won't be alone misery loves company right <laughs> about 30 minutes to set up this tent. This soil is really, really rocky and it was very difficult to get um, the stakes in the ground. Um, but my hands are freezing now. Thank God it's not below freezing outside, but my shoes and my socks are soaked because I, uh, you know, it's, everything's wet. Fortunately, the inside of the tent is dry um, and I've got all my warm clothing. I got a lot of warm clothing kind of anticipating something like this so um yeah i think you know i think i'll be okay tonight uh, i'm gonna look at the map and see you know if this doesn't clear up by tomorrow i'm just gonna have to reroute and probably stay on the spanish side until the weather gets better and chad you're probably pretty happy that you're not here because this kind of sucks it's really cold and it was pretty sketchy up up higher so uh, yeah you're not missing out so after looking at the map I think I've decided um, we'll stay on the Spanish side I guess that's the GR 11 until I reach um, Red Inclusa refuge and then if the weather looks okay try to do a summit attempt of um, 
Pico de Enero. Uh, but if the weather doesn't look good, I won't, I won't attempt that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cold right now. Um, this sleeping bag has lost quite a bit of its loft just from being stuffed over and over and probably absorbing moisture. So one thing I'm pretty pissed about, about this um, Thermarest inflatable mattress is that uh, it's sprung a leak. I've only had it for like, um, you know, a couple months. I bought it from my CDG trip and it was working fine. And then on this trip, it uh, sprang a leak um, and I haven't been able to find the leak, but I basically have to reinflate it every two or three hours, you know, because uh, it deflates and then I'll get cold and I'll wake up and have to reinflate it. But um, yeah, it's going back to REI as soon as I get home. It's about 11 p.m. right now and um, I'm warm um, and the tent feels like it's staying pretty dry. A little bit, a little bit of moisture on the uh, inside, but not too bad. And I uh, took a leak by hanging out the side of the tent because there was no way I was going to get up and get outside in this kind of weather. It doesn't look like the um, hail is really melting off. So I just, I think uh, the decision is to head back down um, and then take the GR11. I just heard uh, what sounded like a big boulder come down the side of the cliff um, by the, uh, the boulder field next to us, so that, that makes me a little nervous.